I do need mercy now more than ever. Ah, greetings friends. Brandar has returned from the void. What little sleep I was able to get was quite restless, as one might imagine. I, I cannot look you in the eyes, Anasi. I've had enough hunting for one lifetime, I think. And the Emperor demands that I go do more. Caius Crusades demands that I go do more. Uh, the sun will be up quite soon, I suppose. I just simply could not sleep all the way through the nights, friends. What time is it? 5 a.m.? Not too bad. A fine time for running. Running away from one's problems. I tell you, friends, I don't want to go run these errands anymore. I, I'm quite heavily contemplating leaving this land altogether. But where to go is my one question. I could go, perhaps, not elsewhere, obviously. I am banished. As, as I don't think I can work my way back in. Even with my very high personality. Uh, Valenwood? I don't think the Bosmer would be too happy to see me. Hmm. I think perhaps the Black Marsh might welcome my presence. But, uh... I, I may have had enough with the swamps and the marshes. For now, at least. It might may be a little too wet. And then, of course, there is Skyrim, relatively secluded from the Emperor, I believe. And, uh... I don't know, maybe... maybe Cyrodiil? It seems quite strange. I would quite literally be going into the Emperor's territory. But perhaps flying over Cyrodiil would make a short path to Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim is too cold. Hmm... Do you think he knows about the southern parts? He probably has eyes everywhere. Ah, this is a dangerous proposition, friends. I don't... I don't much like it, I must admit. But I have to do what I feel is right in my heart. And I refuse to go around just killing people in cold blood. People that may have done something wrong, but not to my knowledge. It's madness. It's absolute madness. <sighs> Where would you like to go? Away. I don't suppose you'd let me take this Silt Strider to the Shivering Isles, maybe? Somerset Isles? Uh... Nisus will do for now. I could also perhaps set up in Hammerfell. Oh my, the rain. I would like to explore Nisus a bit. I've not been here before. But of course, we must wait out the rain. Ah, my favorite part, yes. Ah, a misty morning. It's quite lovely, if I do say so. Greetings to you, Dunmer. Is there something you need? I don't know what I need. Do you perhaps have a, a shop of some sort? Or you just set up shop outside? Is that how it goes? Oh my. Building section. A temple. Yes, of course. The first entrance way helps to keep the bad spirits out. If you believe in that thing, of course. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, let us barter, please. Very interested in your wares, although not as much once I've had a look. Oh, moon sugar, hmm? Well, that could come in quite useful. I shall keep it in mind. Perhaps like to buy some skooma. Ah, repairs, repairs, repairs. Always good to stay well repaired. Thank you so much. Does pretty good armor work. For a Dunmer. Hmm. A trade house. 
Yes, this does not seem like a, a very large place. Just a couple of trade houses. Little Dunmers living their little Dunmer lives. <laughs> ah, let us go to Cool, I believe. This is the place the little birdie told me I could go to get a boat. Uh, to get to Soul's time. And if I remember correctly, there's an airship in Soul's time, which might allow me to make my escape from this place. This horrible, horrible swamp land. But first, I must find the boat that will take me there. Hmm. Perhaps here? Would anyone talk to me here? Little fisherman shack? Is that what this is? Hmm. Pardon me. Can I help you find someone in particular? Perhaps. The north runs Stone Guard Straight House, the Red Run style building over to the east. The rest of these shacks are fishermen's homes. Uh, where might I get a boat? Somebody will take me to Soul's time, I am sure of it. I just have to uh, ask the right person. Ah, and this Kajit. He looks like an enterprising young man, no? Let me talk to you, sir. How do you do, brother? Are you in need of transport? Severe will gladly take you to Fort Frostmoth for a small fee. Ah, uh, yes, let us do just that, my friend. 28 gold pieces? Quite a bargain, if you ask me. Oh, and the Argonian runs the other side. Interesting. Well, welcome to Soul's time, friends. Broken a lot of new ground in just a little bit of time. Because Brandar is on the move. I will not go... ...perform slaughter for the Emperor. It's just madness. I can't do it. Let us, uh, have a peek at the journal and what, what it says about this airship. Hmm... Rothman's Burrow, that is right. This name rings a bell. The Wolf's Eye. What is this madness? The Wolf's Eye. I, I can only suppose this is the Eye. So let us travel north, friends. The only way there is to go, so it seems. And this man just standing outside the gate. Is this a safe place? Can you tell me? You travel the wilds of Solsheim just as I do? Here's a word of advice from one wanderer to another. Keep your eyes open and your wits about you. There's more than bears and wolves running through these islands. If you find yourself face to face with the berserkers or fries hags, sheathe your blade and get to running. If you need shelter, my kinfolk at Thirsk will gladly take you in. Uh, and where's Thirsk, my friend? Thirsk is the finest meat holly I'll ever visit, friend. It lies north of here, to the east of Lake Fjalding. If you reach the Skull Village, you've gone too far. When you get there, see Ulfren. She's in charge of the meat, and I'll glad you gladly sell you a flag in her three. Well, I might be just in the market for such a proposition, friend. I thank you heartily. Well, it seems kind of like a friendly place, I suppose. It could be much worse. So off we go, wandering into the absolute wilds to find the airship of- Oh! You! Ha! Foul creature. A most foul hound. They don't come alone, do they? Of course not. Ha! You fool! Ha! These Nords, they resist my icicle magic. But uh, running around naked is probably not so advisable. Good try, Mr. Berserker. Another wolf. This place seems to be laden with wolves. They shall soon see that Kajit is superior. Ha! Uah! Yeah! Yeah! Did get his hits in. 
Certainly not one to be trifled with. Of this I am sure. Hmm. Now we are just wandering. Wandering into the, the depths of the woods. This can't be a good thing. I do have great faith that Surendar shall protect me through these troubling times. I do need mercy now more than ever. Mara is uh, the mother and I should call upon her as well. Even though my own mother has somewhat left me to the wolves, so to speak. <laughs> ah, you have to have a little humor or else you'll go crazy. There's also another god that uh, I tend to worship, but people look at me sideways when I admit to it. His name is Rajin. He's the footpad. The purring liar. Uh, it's not the most flattering name, I must admit, but... Oh my. Is this a bear? I should not like to trifle with a bear, I think. We'll go around this way. So yes, Rajin grew up in the Black Kiergo section of Senchal. And he's actually most renowned for uh, stealing a tattoo off of the neck of Empress Kintyra as she slept. One of the most famous burglars in all of elsewhere. And for good reason, I might add. Hmm, there's some water here. Perhaps we can find a way across. Now granted, uh, I'm not one to advocate going around taking tattoos from people. However, if you think that you can find better use than them from the item, then maybe it is within your rights. Oh, I saw you. Yes, I did. Naughty. Naughty dog. So foul. Hmm. I'm quite unsure where I'm going. I should head north. But the river seems to have me blocked. I need to find a way. Maybe just a rock. If I can find a rock with the right placement then one good leap could put me across. Maybe this one. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, mm, it seems to be getting wider as well. well. What is this in the water? Oh, I did hear you creeping up. Nasty, nasty creature! Oh. They shall take a whole lot more out of me before the day is done, friends. Let us sit for a while and camp through the night. We can talk about Mara and Akatosh, Rajin and Srendar, the various Khajiits of legend. Ah, good morning, friends. Are you feeling chipper, I hope? I am as well, I assure you. Although feeling a little, uh, a little troubled about this river. The length of this river runs through my soul as a scar. <laughs> it would be quite easy for most to just jump in and swim across, but Brandar is not most. Hmm. Surely there must be a break somewhere. A little log that I can wriggle my way across. Really, I can make do with almost anything. But I don't have any water walking potions, I believe. Hmm. We could, we could, we could... Jump, jump, jump. Do we have plus acrobatics? No. Seems not, friends. Troubling. Nope, many restore potions, but nothing that is going to get us across. Ay, 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 ay. It's quite close. 
It is quite close. And there's a bear on the other side. Wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 ha, ha. Oh, and now it's windy. <laughs> the kitty's feet are cold. I hate. <laughs> ah. On the plus side, uh, we did avoid the bear. <laughs> so I suppose Brandar should count his blessings, no? Hmm. Rothmond's burrow. What is this? A monolith sticking out of the ground. Morning horn! <laughs> what is it? As the sun? It's perhaps a. Uh, to tell the time. Although I don't see any indication. Maybe some can just tell by looking. At least now I think we are on the uh, the northward path. But I must remember to avoid these bears. They are out here in mass. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.